Zop, zop, dooby doo, wop, ba, doo, 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 doo. Cooking adventures, cooking adventures. Zop, zop, dooby doo, wop, ba. Tommy's cooking adventures, yeah! Hello, everyone, and welcome to my cooking adventures, the show where we make really, really awesome tasting food that looks really good and is also really easy to make. Now, all the recipes on the show are going to be 100% original and a lot of time I'll be cooking it for the first time on the show. So, not really sure how it's gonna taste, right? It might be really good and it might be really bad, but, you know, that's the adventure part of the show. So today we're gonna be learning how to make our own potato chips because they taste really good. And um, so basically the main ingredients you're gonna need for this dish are potatoes and cooking oil. And now the other great thing about this dish is that it's 100% customizable so you can add in whatever ingredients you want and it could taste really good or really bad depending on what you add. Well today we're going to go with um, some salt, ground black pepper, cayenne pepper, and five spice powder. So let's hope that particular combination ends up tasting really good. So what you need to do first is you start off by slicing the potatoes into really thin slices. Now you can actually skin the potatoes if you want to, but I'm not going to because I think the skin tastes pretty good on the chips. Yeah, and um, so the goal here is to try and slice the potatoes into, you know, slices that are as thin as possible. The thinner the better. So you can either use a knife, which may be a little more difficult, or you can use this nice little vegetable slicer thing that kind of does the job for you. So we're just going to start slicing these potatoes now. And, uh, so yeah, just keep, keep on slicing. And when you're done, you'll have something like this. So we've got small individual slices of potatoes that we're going to season in terms of potato chips. Now what you have to start doing is you're going to have to start seasoning each individual slice with um, all the spices or whatever that you know, chosen. Um, so let's start with that. And that's one potato chip. Okay, so there's actually a better way of seasoning the pieces of potatoes. Um, basically, I've laid them all out on this chopping board. And now, I can just season a whole bunch of them at once. And uh, this works a lot better than what I was doing earlier. Get that seasoning nice and thick. And when you're done with one side, just flip them over and start on the other. And when you're done with that, you'll be left with something like this. So we've got all the potato chips here now, nice and seasoned, and the only thing left to do is fry them. Okay, so we're about ready to fry the potato chips. What I've done here is I put a little oil in the pan, not too much, um, and I turn it up to about medium heat, and we're just waiting for the oil to get nice and hot so we can just dump the chips in later. You don't want to put the chips in cold oil because then it gets really soggy and gross, 
and then just it won't be crispy and it's not really like potato chips. It'll just be really weird. Yeah, so we're just waiting for those to get hot now. And now that the oil is hot enough, we can just dump all our chips in. And oh my god. Holy shit, okay. So it's gonna do that. So what you gotta do is stay calm and just, you know, flip the chips around as you start frying. So this is what the chips look like in the pan. Um, you can't smell it, but it smells really, really good. And what you need to do is you gotta get the chips so they're nice and crispy and sort of golden brown. Right now they're still kind of soft because they're potatoes, but uh, it takes about 20 minutes to get them nice and golden brown and tasty and delicious. So. Uh, just be a little patient. Yeah. Okay, so our potato chips are done. They didn't turn out quite how I wanted because I probably I burnt them a little bit in the frying pan. But um, yeah, so let's just go and see how it tastes. Pretty fucking good. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave your feedback in the comments below. Tommy's Cooking Adventures is sponsored by Nobody.